Guys, what's going on? So y'all saw that sports bet video in regards to what I'm going to do with my life after the 20th. Okay. And this is something I'm doing. It ain't no flip flopping guys. I'm, I guess I said before medication got my mind opened up to, to actually thinking smart now, actually thinking like a rational person. Now I want to give a shout out to Jeff with, uh, I think it's hot Mike barbecue. Now he changed his name. I forgot what it is, now. but you know, shout out to Jeff and shout out to um, rideshare professor. Okay. Those two individuals were pushing the chauffeur and license, okay? Getting the chauffeur and license and get the, you know, SUV, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to do that, guys. Um, my credit is better now. My credit is like a 660 right now, which is better than it was before. So I actually got approved um, with, I'm not going to tell you the company, but with company where I get uh, not too high of APR, but I can get a truck. I was going to be stupid like a week and a half ago before I got back on my meds. I was going to get like a challenger and try to be sporty and try to be like whatever, which is stupid. You can't make money with a challenger. Um, and plus, I'm not going to be doing DoorDash when I get to Wilmington at this point. So my thought is this. I'm going to get a truck. I'm trying to decide which one. I'll probably reach out to Rideshare Professor with that question. What would he recommend? Because the way I see it, all of the trucks get the same gas mileage, okay? And I'm looking at Tahoe. Tahoe is the less luxurious, but... The cost of it is on a level of a Denali um, when when it's used, of course. I'm talking about 2016, 17. An Escalade uh, is the same price almost as a Denali, okay? Now, I like the style of, um, I like the Tahoe, I like the style. But that's not luxurious, though, unless you get like the, I think it's the LTZ model, which is like way more. And it's like on the Denali and Escalade um, level. Escalade comes standard luxuries, okay? And then you have your uh, Denali that, you know, you want to get like a little bit of a newer Denali to like get that feel, um, luxurious feel. So my thought is this, guys. Wilmington is a market that is growing with, you know, weddings and, you know, vacation hub and et cetera, et cetera. OK, now, look, guys, I don't want to lose you all in this video because I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, oh, my God, what is he doing now? What is he doing now? So I'm going to do a deep dive. This is how I come up with businesses. OK. And I'm pretty sure, shout out to Sam Mitchell. I think he agreed with me changing my direction if I stick with this as being a good thing. This is actually providing value to sports betting. This is a deep dive into me and what I'm going to do with this whole vehicle situation. Instead of buying a vehicle, I'm going to just drive around and just relax. No, I'm getting a vehicle that's going to be a moneymaker. So, Wilmington is a vacation city, okay? It's really vacation and weddings, okay? Uh, my thought is this. Why not capitalize on that and give people, it would be called the experience. What I mean by the experience is this. I start off with the truck. I get the disco lights, you know, light system that, you know, can come on with people that want to party and have the disco lights with the music uh, blasting. And then you have a camera system to where if people want the experience recorded. They say the word, they push the button, that's going to be in the back that's, that says R-E-C, and it records the experience, and then it uploads onto a website that I'll um, um, have access to, that if they hit that record button, it's going to record, and they have to pay for that video. Um, that's an additional charge, but that would be an experience that people would want to pay for. Now, if the people give me a nice tip, I may give them the video for free, but on top of that, I'm going to have a karaoke machine. Because I'm going to get a vehicle and make sure I have the TV in the back. So that way, um, they can see the lyrics on the screen. Okay? I'm going to have everything to give them a good experience. Now, this vehicle would only be utilized for wedding couples that are like, you know, they want a chauffeur for their wedding. Meaning that I'm charging $50 an hour. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say, oh my God, they're not even paying $50 an hour. Guys, that's the going rate. You got to understand. When I was in Vegas and I was like doing my thing, you know, I was making all this money sports betting. I only road private you know and i used to pay about 30 to 40 dollars an hour you know it's just a feeling i didn't do it every time it's just when i'm going on a date or i'm going to like a nightclub i want to feel good with my friends we just paid 40 bucks an hour now most of the time we don't keep the driver the whole time we just you know go there and then we we call him and come pick us back up now you got to remember with wilmington and things being so far away a lot of the people are going to want me to stay like say you have um somebody going to myrtle beach then, you know, that's like two hours almost to get there from Wilmington. So I'm going to offer, you know, my services to where I can do a whole day to where it's going to be like three to $400 because depending on how long I might cut the rate from $50 to like maybe $40. Okay. And then if I'm there with you for eight hours, you do the math. And you got to remember my cost 
is is probably gonna be my actual cost is probably gonna be under twenty dollars. So I gotta look at you know what I make above the twenty dollars. So if I'm getting forty dollars an hour, and I'm gonna get a tip because people that you know use black card aren't miserable people because they know you're never gonna pick them up again. So they tip and they tip good if you do a good job. So the twenty is gonna be the base, and then the tip is gonna be the excess of that. So you gotta remember, guys, corporate. Uh, Wilmington is a city that has it has a movie studio, it has um, a convention center. You're gonna have corporate people coming in town who don't care about the cost of transportation. They just want to get in, swipe the credit card, and they get out. Those are the people I'm gonna be catering to and looking to cater to during the week. So I'm gonna be at that airport in front with the taxis with my car or in my truck with the sign, you know, forty dollars an hour um, or um, thirty dollars an hour. Depends on the day, but thirty dollars an hour. Um, 2000 and, or two, um, I'm not going to put the year, just put Denali and they're going to see Denali right there. And I'm going to be right in front with the sign, like rent me $30 an hour. And I'm going to give them my car. And now these people can call me for rides because I'm going to be on deck. And I, it's, it only takes you 10 minutes to get anywhere in Wilmington for the most part. Now, if you're going to Carolina Beach, you're going like to, you know, far, far away places then yes. And then I'm going to set up myself with one of those apps that are available that you can like um, allow people to book you on the app. So it's real convenient. So this is my thought, guys. I'm not doing this for a full-time thing. This is going to be a part-time extra money on the side because I don't want to be in Wilmington completely, you know, doing right, you know, doing rides, whatever, chauffeuring. Um, I'm only going to chauffeur on the weekends and I'm going to chauffeur during the day when there's no basketball or nothing to bet on. You know, during the week uh, when my son is at school, I'm going to be doing chauffeuring. And it's going to be more for corp corporate folks, you know, people going coming in for conventions and all of that. And um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about doing here. Now, the experience, deeper into the experience, okay? I'm going to, as I make money with sports betting and what, as I make money with chauffeur, I'm gonna buy things that I can offer. So first thing I'm gonna buy is a trailer, okay? I'm gonna buy a trailer. That trailer is gonna allow me to haul stuff for people. So now I can add that to the bag. Now, if somebody has furniture they need hauled, or they need like transportation for furniture from one place to another. Like if they're at Lowe's, they need like a, a, a shed, you know, um, loaded and brought, call me. Now, of course, I'm not going to be doing the hauling. I'm just going to offer transportation. You got to put it on my trailer and I'll take it to wherever and you take it off. So I'm going to offer that. Secondly, you have people that are moving. Okay. So you can load up this, this trailer and then I'll take it to wherever. And then, so it's going to be the end in-house, local, you know, um, um, moving uh, service. I'm going to have the tailgate, so that way, next thing is boat. I used to haul boats back in the day, guys. My stepdad, he had boats. I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't have a license at that point, but I, he used to let me, you know, um, um, move his boats around, so I know it's complicated, but I know I'd do it. Um, I would do that also. I, I did a couple in my adult years. I did a couple, um, you know, uh, hauling the boats, so I would have to like get a refresh course by like going and offering to do it for free to a few people who would show me how to do it. If anything's changed, I don't know technology around um, hauling and um, you know taking a boat out to like say somebody wants to go to Myrtle Beach from Wilmington, then I'm gonna say I'll haul you you and your boat and your six people in this truck. It's gonna be like 500 bucks. People will pay that because of the fact I'm gonna stay there with them to you know put the boat back, hitch it back, and then get back to Wilmington. So you gotta understand, guys. This vehicle, um, I'm going to extend this this um, vehicle payment out to like the 72 month mark. I know the APR is going to be high, but I'm going to make extra payments so that way I can pay it off sooner. But I'm going to keep my costs low up front. That's going to be the business, main business that I'm going to involve myself in. Um, it's going to be chauffeuring and it's going to be hauling once I get the trailer. And then I'm going to offer, you know, to bring um, your boat, whatever. Then the last Addition I'm going to add is I'm going to try to get some jet skis. I'm going to try to get stuff like that. I'm going to buy those things once I get the money. And it would be like, you know, a buy, of course, make payments on to where I can offer people, you know, they got those tra the trailer that I get that's going to be able to haul motorcycles, you know, two motorcycles or two jet skis. I'm going to make sure it's big enough to, you know, at least have two of something because usually you have couples. And I don't want to limit it to one person being able to utilize that trailer. So I'm going to get jet skis to where now... I can offer you rent my jet skis. And of course, the liability is going to be on those people that are going to sign waivers, but you can rent the jet skis, okay, at your own risk. Um, I'm going to have surfboards that I'm going to buy that people can rent the surfboards that I could bring on 
this 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 ride and you can rent them and then you gotta understand guys i'm gonna have stuff i'm gonna offer stuff and then also last thing before i forget there's companies that also rent out this stuff that i'm gonna work with to where i'm gonna give them my card and tell them that if they send me a lead who books with me with their company to where i'll come and get whatever they're renting and take them wherever it is at i'm gonna give them like a kickback so so many options then last actually not last i got a few more this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, guys. But I want to give you guys what's going on in my head right now. And this is all doable stuff. And this is why I told y'all when I'm at my best, I'm at my best. Strip clubs. You have two strip clubs in Wilmington. I'm going to also give my business card to a strip club bouncer. If he calls me like, hey, this person needs a ride. And I get there, I'm going to kick him back like 20 bucks, whatever. Because those strip club rides are going to be, um, or not kick him back 20 bucks. But I'm going to get... Um, um, kickback if that guy or I'm gonna give him kickback if they want to go to another um if they go to a massage parlor or something like that I'm gonna give that doorman a kickback for calling me to give that guy a ride there because then I get money from that okay um and then nightclubs I meant nightclubs I'm gonna give them a kickback because I'm gonna take people to the strip club the strip clubs gonna give me a little bit of something like 20 30 bucks they don't give that much in Wilmington but that's just Wilmington guys you gotta remember we have Charlotte which is like two and a half hours or so away from Wilmington and in Charlotte, it's a hub. It's like one of the biggest, most growing tech cities in the country. And you have um, a NBA team, you got an NFL team, you have big rollers to where I'm going to be one of a bunch of chauffeur and um, outlets out there. But that's going to be a market that I can touch. You know, it's going to be a market that maybe like if my son doesn't have a game on the weekend, I can go out there to work the circuit. You know, I go out there and work and, um, you know, give give people rides because I'm gonna literally just you know put my phone number on like I'm gonna get like one of those sticker things you put on the side of your car and I'm gonna put um 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 I'm gonna pretty much put available forty dollars an hour and put my phone number and then that way when that's up people will know I'm available and they'll just come up and say hey can you give us a ride to this place and I'm gonna always have a camera by the way guys so I'm not gonna have like no camera where it's like rob me whatever. But with that said, guys, um, this is just another avenue of income. So I don't want y'all worry thinking I'm just thinking I'm about to be a sports better the rest of my life. No, um, I'm going to get a truck. It's probably going to be an Escalator Denali. And it's going to probably be an older one. It's going to be like a 2017 or, or um, um, 18 because I know with my credit, I can't afford a $70,000, $80,000 um, loan. I'm not, I would never get approved for that. But what I see right now is for like 30000 you get like a... 2016 2017 for like 40 you can get like a 2018 and i think that's new enough to get the job done it doesn't have to be brand new um for most for the most part um and you know it's gonna be a money maker because you remember if i get it for thirty thousand dollars that means um the equivalent of i need to put the equivalent of in mind it's like fifty thousand miles um for like forty thousand as long as i am able to achieve ten thousand dollars in profit each year you know, it's worth the money. And I'm talking about profit after the cost of the vehicle and expenses and wear and tear, which would actually make sense now. And, you know, that's what we're going to do. And there ain't going to be no more lift. It's just going to be chauffeuring. And guys, this ain't no get rich quick scheme. And this ain't no fraudulent. No, Jeff, he does it. Um, you know, uh, Rideshare Professor, he does it. Um, a lot of people do this now because, you know, it's, if, especially in a city that don't really have chauffeurs, like Wilmington doesn't have chauffeurs really. There's always weddings. I'm gonna go to that wedding chapel, like, hey, you can give them my number, you know, anybody that books, I'll give you like a $20 kickback, okay? And that's what we're gonna do to where, you know, cause most of the weddings is crazy. Most of the wedding people, there are chauffeur companies, but they gotta come from afar. There's really no chauffeur companies in town. So it's crazy cause these people will be showing up like in regular cars, like, like for their wedding. It's like, no, you're supposed to be, you know, pulling out in like a nice, nice, you know, car, nice truck with a guy getting out with a suit, not your younger brother with like some, some freaking khakis on. No. And then you want to be in like a nice little, you know, nice car with like the wedding bells in the, in the back with the, you know, with the whole shebang, you know, and that's what I do, you know, um, and it's about the experience. This will allow me to give them an experience like no other. Then if I got a group of six people that are going to nightclub, the club is going to start before they get to the, to the, um, to the club, the actual club, because inside I'm having a karaoke machine. I got the water bottles for the, the you know, so they can get their, or not water bottles, but I'm having some drinks for them to get their drink on, not, not liquor. 
But I'm gonna have the whole situation together where people are gonna be entertained, they're gonna feel value in this ride that they're gonna call me whenever they wanna go out because you figure six people and you know they're paying 40 bucks because uh, it's Saturday night and it's, it takes me a half an hour to do this ride and cause I'm going the slow route so that way they can enjoy the experience because it only t takes 10 minutes to get anywhere in Wilmington. Then guess what? Um, I'm making bank, you know, and you gotta remember, not everybody's cheap. People don't mind paying. If it's six people, you know, we all pay $7 for the ride. That's chump change. Nobody, nobody's penny pinching when it comes to entertainment if you are giving them entertainment. Now, if they're picking you up in a freaking, you know, 2000, like, like 12 Prius, you know, with Uber, then you can't ask for much, okay? You're paying what you get for. I mean, pay, you're getting what you pay for, which is nothing. But with that said, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in to the last video. This video is um, not a new career change. It ain't a career change, guys. I'm not going to be a professional chauffeur. Oh, actually, while I'm doing it, I'm going to be professional. But I'm saying this ain't me telling y'all I'm about to be a chauffeur and this and that. This is me telling y'all that I took into account what a lot of you guys have been saying the past few weeks. And yeah, this is going to be my business avenue. You know, when I get to Wilmington, I'm not going to be doing DoorDash. I'm not going to be doing Lyft. I'm going to just do chauffeuring because I can make enough money just even on the weekends. I can make like 200 bucks chauffeuring people uh, a day. And then you figure Friday, Saturday, 400, 1600 bucks, that pays for the car and that pays for my rent. So now the excess of, you know, my bills, which would be another like, say seven, $800 would be the, the, the rise during the, the week, okay, that I give the um, corporate people. And then remember, this will allow me to spend time with my son every day after school, he gets out. And then on the weekends, whenever he got a um, basketball game, I'm coaching. Hopefully I'm not coaching because I'd rather him have a coach and then I'll just train him because I want him to not, you know, not work hard because he's the coach's son. So yeah, this allow me to spend time with him and not worry about all the extra stuff, okay, that's involved. So with that said, guys, I'm going to do a video for members only. It's going to be a video. I don't know that video about the the LGBT bar um, made was made public. I have made it for private or uh, member only, but they put it on um, everybody to see it. So people were. Um, watching that like you know he got a lot of curious people but this video is for everybody um the next video is going to be the story of my sports betting and gambling and how i do it and why i do it and this and that that's going to be a member only and that's coming up today uh, i'm about to go outside and sit on a bench and record that because i like that view a lot better so with that said i appreciate you guys for tuning into this video that's all i got for today or not that i got a lot more for today we're not doing doordash we're talking about a bunch of other stuff um, and like I said, if you got suggestions, do you want to put it in the chat, in the comment section that you want me to see, just put them in there. I'm going to read them. I'm going to see them. Um, we're about making money now. Look guys, I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I've been emotional because my life is starting to turn for the better because I'm starting to get back to reality. I have been foggy mentally. Like I haven't been able to like think rationally until today. Now I'm actually like, like doing the right thing, thinking the right way. You know, that's that's more productive. But with that said, I appreciate y'all. That's all I got. I'm out. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Peace.